there's a river that flows and everything around its path begins to come alive. They all spring open, they all blossom and thrive and flourish. In today's video, we're going to look at the power of the river of life. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm excited about this one. So hang in there. Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotionals, Bible studies, and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your subscribe, for your likes, for your kind comments, and for your shares. If you're not yet a subscriber, I encourage you to click the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So when we have a new video, you are not going to miss out, okay? This is our day 91, and in today's video, we are looking at Ezekiel chapter 46 all the way to Ezekiel chapter 48. The theme of our discussion is the river of life. Hallelujah. Um, in 46, it talks about setting the house of God in order. That was the revelation, the vision that Ezekiel had, specific instructions that God had for putting the house of God in order, right? But for today's discussion, I want us to pay particular attention to Ezekiel chapter 47 from 6 all the way to 12. Okay, that is where our attention would be. Okay, look at verse 6. It says, Then he said to me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me and cursed me to return to the brink of the river. Verse 7. Now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on on one side and on the other now i'm going to slow down here and quickly ask that you go to the book of psalm chapter one if you read through psalm chapter one and when you get to verse three it talks about being planted by the riverside in several scriptures you, you you find out that there is a particular reference of believers being planted by the river source being planted by the source of water because there's no plant that survives without water. There is no life without water, basically. So being close to the source ensures and guarantees that you keep life. We continue. Verse 8 says, Then he said unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed now it's talking about where the waters are coming from right and then the waters are getting healed so definitely water courses are all connected so it goes from one river or lake into another water body as it goes along it is healing the waters along its path now not only does it heal the waters around or along its path it says and it it shall come to pass that everything that leave it and um, which move it, where, whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall leave. Wherever the river passes through, everything within it, everything that is moving, that is alive a bit, every of those things are going to leave. Okay? Every one of them are going to leave. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither. For they shall be healed. This is healing along its path. What a powerful message this is today. And everything shall leave whither the river cometh. So wherever the river finds itself, everything along its path, including the waters that it pours into, would find healing. Now, the, 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 um, the body of organisms or, or, or living organisms that are there in the rivers or along its path would also find healing healing this is such a beautiful testimony if we go all the way down to verse 12 it says something it says and by the re and by the river upon the bank thereof on this on this side and on that side shall all shall grow all trees for meat now it's not only about um the animals and the small fishes also the trees the trees shall become fruitful that's what he's saying it's saying they shall grow for meat, the le their leaves shall not fade. That means they're not going to get weeded. Neither shall the fruits thereof be consumed. The fruits will not you know, get rotten the way. They will not be destroyed. It shall bring forth new fruits according to his months. Remember, 
um, being productive per season, according to its season. Now, every tree along that path. Now, think about all the people alive, all the people along the path of the river of life. They are not just going to be healed. They will be fruitful. They will produce their fruits in due season. They will produce their fruits in due season. That's what God is saying. Hallelujah. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary. Because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary. And the fruit thereof shall be meat and the leaf thereof shall be for medicine. What a powerful, powerful testimony of healing. What a beautiful I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is what God is saying. As long as you are standing in the line and waiting in for a miracle, God is not going to pass you by. It it, it just brings to mind that hymn, you know, like, um, pass me not, O gentle Savior. That hymn is really um, very powerful. Imagine the the river of life passing through. Imagine the angels moving along with all the healing in the wings and and Jesus is moving, uh, you know, along the aisles and everybody is waiting and standing in line. And this is what the scripture is saying. It said the river of life, wherever it passes through, those people are going to get healed. The waters are going to get healed. Everything connected to its part would receive healing. I receive that healing for you in Jesus' name. I have faith and I believe. If you're listening and you're believing God for a healing in a particular area of life, in a particular in a particular part of your body, I pray God's healing upon you. Okay? Um, if you when I got to that part where you say the great multitude of fish in the river, because these waters come forth, they shall be healed. I quickly remember that with the discussion with Peter and um, Jesus uh, being features of, of men, and that fish thing just quickly connect, <laughs> just quickly make um, like a connect somewhere. It says, wherever the rivers run, it heals, right? Along the river bank, all the trees also are for food. And um, I want us to quickly look at a few, a few verses that will bring all of this together. The quick question I want you to think about, number one, are you planted by the riverside? Are you planted? Are you positioned correctly? Are you standing in the line? Are you waiting? Are you waiting for that healing? Are you waiting for that flow of the river of life? Are you planted by the water source? Okay, that is the biggest question. That is the biggest question for you. Let's look at um, the book of John. Let's look at the book of John, the encounter that Jesus had with the woman at the well. John chapter 10, John chapter 4, sorry, verse 10. It says, Jesus answered unto her and said, If thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that said unto thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him that he should have given you the living water. The same water that Jesus was talking about. The living water, the river of life. The water that passes by and everything within its path becomes alive. Now, that is what Jesus was telling her. Do you know who it is that you're talking to? All right? If you go to verse 13 and 14, Jesus answered and said to her, whosoever drinketh of this water shall, first again, okay, the water by the well, whoever drinks of this will definitely come back again. But this is the water I'm talking about. Verse 14, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. And the water that I shall give him shall be in a well, okay, shall be in a well, well of water springing up into everlasting life. Now, it doesn't stop there. The water of life is springing up. It's not going to stop. It's unending. It will satiate and satisfy you. It's going to quench the longing of your soul. That is what the water of life does. That's what the river of life is all about. The same water Jesus was making reference to. The very same one. Okay, remember I said you should try look up um, Psalm 1 verse 3. Also, let's look at Psalm 92 quickly um, as a reference point. Look at Psalm 92. We read that a while ago, so you're free to check um, the past videos. Um, you, could, you could check the tomb nails. It will give you a quick, a quick um, direction, a quick reference. All right, so Psalm 92, verse 12 to 14. It says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Verse 13, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish 
in the courts of our God. Hallelujah. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age and they shall be fat and flourishing. That is what the word is saying. Can you see? All of these parts are all connected. Every one of it saying the same thing. When we find ourselves planted and anchored in the word, we are not shifted, okay? We are not going to dry up. Our leaves are not going to dry up. Our fruit will not be consumed. Why? Because we are planted by the river of life. It means the fruit that we bring forth are those that are of, of life. They are full of life. All right, they are going to come forth in their own season. The Bible says the trees, some of them are for meat, some of them are for herbs. They are useful. Our fruits are useful. When we are planted by the riverside, by the waterside. So the question again I'm asking you, dear listener, are you planted by the source of water? Are you there by the river of life? Okay, that is a quick encouragement for us today. Now, don't forget... As a last, um, as we um, come to the end of this discussion, let's quickly look at John chapter 7. Let's see what that says. John chapter 7, verse 37 um, to 39. And in the last day, uh, the, that great day of feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow what? That shall flow rivers of living water. So he that believes in God, out of your own belly too shall flow rivers of living water. Praise God. Thank you so much for listening. I can't wait to continue in the next video. Okay, so join me as we continue the journey. All right. God bless you. <laughs>